Hi, I'm Sofia, you're watching Paraligo, and in this video you can find out how you can make a crochet fur bag with eyelash yarn. And if the words eyelash yarn make you want to run, you have to watch this video to see the way I used to tame the dumb thing. So stay tuned! Supplies list. One skein of 3 mm polyester macrame cord, one skein of 2 mm polyester eyelash yarn, and just to be safe, I'd say one skein and a half, a 4 mm and a 3.5 mm crochet hook, a zipper, a stitch marker. A darning needle, needle and thread for sewing, a metal chain shoulder strap with lobster claw clasps, some pins, a lighter, and a pair of scissors. Start with a macrame cord and the 4 mm hook. Make a slip knot. Next you will chain 42 chains. That's one, two, three, and you will go on like this until you have 42 chain stitches. Now insert into the second chain from your hook and place a single crochet. Mark this first single crochet with a stitch marker. Place a single crochet into the next stitch, the next chain. Repeat until the last but one chain. We finally reached the end of the chains and now we will place three single crochet into the last chain. One, two, Three. Continue placing single crochet into the bottom loops of the original chain. In other words, working the first round around your chain. So insert into the next stitch and place a single crochet. Make sure to place the tail on top of your hook to carry along. If you must, pull the tail to tighten the gap. Place a single crochet into the next stitch. Always carrying the tail along. Repeat into the next stitch. Continue like this until the last but one stitch. Mm -hmm. 
Here we are, only one last stitch left, and we will place three single crochet into this last stitch. One, two, three. And this is the end of the first round. Now remove the stitch marker and place a single crochet into the first stitch to start the second round. But you will insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch only, right here. A back loop single crochet. Now place the stitch marker back into this first stitch. Place a single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. And continue until you reach the triple stitch in the other end of the original chain. Here we are right where we placed our first triple stitch on the previous round and we will place two single crochet in each of these three stitches back loop only. One, two, one, two, one, We completed three couples of back loop single crochet, six stitches in total that form our corner. Now place one back loop single crochet into the next stitch and continue placing one back loop single crochet in each stitch until you meet the next triple stitch in the other corner of our base. We reached the other corner and as before we will place two back loop single crochet into each of the three stitches of the bundle. One, two, one, two, one, two, three pairs of stitches. And this was the end of the second round. Remove the stitch marker and place one back loop single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker back into this first stitch of the third round and place a back loop single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat until the end of the round. Without any more increases, just one back loop single crochet into each stitch. Almost reached the end of the third round. Place the last back loop single crochet without increasing. One more to go. And this was the end of the third round. You will repeat the third round. Just place a back loop single crochet into each stitch until you complete the 25th round. So that this narrow oval base will, round by round, transform into a pouch. When you're left with one stitch to complete the 25th round, cut your yarn, fasten off, Remove the stitch marker, 
insert into the first stitch of the round both loops and pull the tail out. Then insert into the back loop of the last stitch from the reverse side of your work and pull the tail in. Then thread the tail to your darning needle and weave it in at the reverse side of your work. Make sure to make a knot before you cut the excess. Finally, burn the end with a lighter. And though not yet obvious, the first part of your fur bag is ready. So let's move to the next step. Let's apply the fur. Take the eyelash yarn and the 3.5 mm hook and make a slip knot. Go to the right corner of the base and trace the beginning of the first round. It's easy to identify each round from these oblique loops. They are the front loops from each round that we left unworked. We will work them right now. So next spot the first loop of the round but to be honest, even if it's not the actual first one, it's not big a deal. Just insert your hook into one of the front loops of the corner, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops on your hook, a single crochet. Do the same into the next loop. It's a bit of a mess with all that hair in the way, but you'll get used to it fast. So insert your hook into the next loop and bring the tail on top of your hook to carry it with you. Yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops on your hook. Repeat into the next loop. Insert your hook, bring the tail on top of the hook to carry and place a single crochet. To avoid what just happened, make sure to work really loose because the truth is that if your open loop slips from your hook, it's really hard to trace. So this is the way you will continue to work the entire bag. By placing one single crochet into each loop, working in the round. And once you get rid of the tail, everything will be much easier. So we worked our way to the other corner. We will place the last stitches for this side and now simply turn and continue to the other side without increases or anything complicated. Just place one single crochet into each loop. Continue like this all the way around.
here we are at the end of the first fluffy round. Last stitches in the corner. And we will turn around to begin the next round in the exact same manner. Insert into the next loop and place a single crochet. Just like before, we will work a round of single crochet into the front loops of the second round. But before that, I will show you a trick that I think that you will simply love. So I released my open loop from the hook and I tied it into a knot to make sure I won't lose it. But you can do the same thing with a stitch marker if you're smarter than me. Anyway, this is our first hairy round. And here's a brush, a plastic brush. What I'm going to do is give this first hairy round a good brush. I swear I could do this for hours, but I will restrain myself. And here's how our first round looks after the hair salon. Quite impressive, isn't it? So that's about how it's done. I will now untie my open loop, insert my hook into it, and I will continue applying fur to my pouch in the exact same way as in the first round. And after 20 rounds, your pouch will look like this. Let me secure my open loop to show you. Ta-da! Now you could stop here, leaving a border of four or five rounds, or you can work your way to the top. That's a matter of taste. I will go all the way up, but before that, I would like to point out that working with the eyelash yarn Though might seem terrifying, it's actually quite forgiving because even if you skip an entire round, the result is so rich that you won't be able to tell. And with that, I will leave you to continue my way up and I'll meet you when I have completed the last but one round. So here I am. Last stitches of the round. And all that's left is one unworked round. And here is where I stop. So now cut the yarn, fasten off. Thread your yarn to the darning needle. And this might be the only case where you will weave the tail in the exterior of the bag. And you will hardly need to make any knots to secure it. I will give it a last brush. And here, please note that you can brush the entire bag in the end of your work, or you can brush it every few rounds. It doesn't matter. What does matter is to make sure that you won't need to unravel after brushing, because this will be practically impossible. Also, make sure that you didn't slip any loop, because the brush might pick this loop and unravel entire parts of your rounds. So I guess that's it. And the next step will be to attach the zipper. But I will not show you this in detail. I will fast forward it because I've shown this in many of my previous videos 
one of which you can watch by clicking up in the right corner. And we're done with the zipper. Let's see if it works. Seems to work really nice. And you can leave the interior as it is or you can attach lining and reinforcement. And the final touch is to attach the chain strap. Just open the lobster claw clasp and insert it under one stitch at the end of the zipper, both loops of the stitch. And repeat at the other end. And it's ready. My beloved viewers, thank you so much for staying. If you liked what you watched, give us a thumbs up, make a comment and share. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click on the bell to get notified for new videos. To get the written pattern of this bag and many more, visit paralijo.com. Until next time, take care. Mwah.